man, Sean, I'm telling you, this place is the hottest club in town. Ah, uh, Murr, we've been down that road before. No, listen, I... I'm not traveling down that same road, okay? I saw these people turning away Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy? Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> yes! The girl guy ratio was better than a Jane Austen flick on Super Bowl Sunday. Once we get past that red rope, it'll be kid in a candy shop time. And we'll be the candy! <laughs> yes, wait till the ladies get a load of my Jolly Rancher! <laughs> Excuse me, Milk Duds. I hate to crush your Mr. Goodbar fantasy, but women do not appreciate being. <laughs> oh! Cher, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'd be riding in a hearse if it wasn't for this guy. <laughs> Marshall? Huh. Where am I? You're right here with me. Oh, I'm having the dream again. Wait, I'm not in my bunk bed. Oh, motorcycle. Oh, are you in harm's my luscious lily? Yeah, thanks to you. Uh, easy, easy. Uh, hey, here's your glasses. Oh. Oh, thank heavens, mother and sister on neopolymer shatterproof lenses. Man, Marshall, you look like Jackie Chan! <laughs> well, an extremely nearsighted and asthmatic Jackie Chan, but still! Oh, please. Any red-blooded citizen would have done the same thing. Marshall, get real! You saved Cher's life! That's right! That's major! Major doesn't even begin to cover it. Honestly, Cher. Staining my doctors to be of service to you is reward enough. Still, if there's anything I can ever do for you. Anything? She is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Looks can see. She wears her heart on her sleeve. Not quite so dramatic. Oh. But Marshall did shove me out of the way of this crazed ninja biker. Really? Cher! Oh god, it's true. What? You're horribly disfigured. Oh, poor little elephant girl. Don't worry, we will sue. Uh-oh, geek alert. I'll stick a potato in her tailpipe. You are talking about her motorcycle, right? Oh, is it broken? Oh. No. Thankfully, my doughy flesh should absorb most of the impact. <laughs> oh, but worry not. An infinitesimally small price to pay for the privilege of... Tackling her from behind? Well, it was an extremely brave gesture, and I'm very grateful. Um, you know, Cher, just to, to clarify, was that hyperbole when you said, and I quote, if there's anything I could ever do for you? Uh, no, I meant it. Oh, thank God, because as I'm sure you know, Omnicon 5 starts tonight. Yeah. You do know what Omnicon 5 is. Oh, please tell me it's not anything like Monistat 7. Cher, it's only the most important sci-fi fantasy event of the year. Okay. I was wondering, and I know it's probably a long shot, if you'd do the honor of accompanying me. Oh, gee, tonight... I... Oh, pain. You must stay conscious. Okay, okay, I'll go. Really? Merciful Minerva! <laughs> okay, Poindexter, you've hit the lottery. Now fetch. What? Cher? A date with Marshall? Better to be crushed under the wheels of Amber's motorcycle. What date? Nobody used the word date. He saved my life. What else could I say? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. How about no? 
Cher, you have sprinkled water on his seed of obsession, and it's beginning to sprout. You have to nip it. Nip it in the bud. Nip it now. Look, I can the drama, queen. I refuse to be a feeling harder. Besides, it's only one night. How bad can it be? How bad can it be? How bad can it be? Shoo! 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 Back to the poor abyss of Ultramax with you! Were the Elocs irritating you, Radiant One? What are Elocs? Oh, Cher. I find your naivete in the dog-eat-dog -dog world of sci-fi fantasy irresistibly refreshing. <laughs> By the way, you dropped your complimentary ask me about my black hole butt near the trash receptacle. Oops. Would you like me to pin it on your... bosom? No, that's okay. Um... So have we seen everything? <laughs> oh, you witty little minx. <laughs> We've just begun. Set your phasers on fun. <laughs> Work it, work it. Now work with me, baby. Work with me! Spare me the attitude, Mr. Floppy. You asked me here, remember? Do we really need her? Oh, no! I'm sure the bouncer at Club Twisteroo would just love to let in two drooling desperados to harass his clientele. It's true, man. If we show up without a babe, they'll never let us in. And since we couldn't find one, Amber will have to do. <gasps> oh, that's perfect! Look, come here. Yeah, now that's very DMV. It's PhotoPatch 2.5, the most sophisticated software available for this kind of work. Uh -huh. And there you go. Are you insane? What? Look at what you wrote for my hair color. Red? Oh, you idiots. It is clearly smoldering cherry. Change it. I can't, it's... Change it, man. <gasps> Just do it. A fifth level wizard spell card. A nice try. But not quite good enough to beat my master mage card here. <laughs> well, looks like you've just added considerably to my collection. Not so fast, Chatsworth. I've got one draw left. All right, Marshal. Draw. Pretty lady, breathe your sweet breath upon this card for luck. Huh? Let me put it in terms you can understand, Blondie. Blow on it. Oh. <laughs> Pretty pony. It's the white steed of the apocalypse, you ninny. Oh, that's my bad. Murray Lawrence Duval. That's me. Date of birth, uh, September 6, 1976, 10.35 a.m. I'm a Virgo. Breach, baby. Uh-huh. Amber Princess Marion's. Present. You're 21? As of last Tuesday. Oh, please. You're 35 if you're a day. Oh! I am suing that tanning salon. What the And that makes you Sean Eugene Holiday. Uh, I guess. Um, yes, that would be me. Well, everything seems to be in order. <laughs> Except... See, these were done on Photo Patch 2.5. And the sad thing is, for five bucks you could have bought the upgrade. Photo Patch 3.0 has twice the resolution. Dang, that's why it was on sale. And honey, that's not smoldering cherry. It's more like burnt bozo. <laughs> Tell me, Kojak, does the bouncer refer to your job or to your butt? Get her out of here now. You want a piece? Come on. So, there really is a share after all. Excuse me? Well, I suspected Marshall made you up. He talks about you incessantly on his webpage. Webpage? I hope you appreciate him. That man can speak seven languages. 
three of which he made up. One is a binary code only understood by fax machines. Oh, um, will you excuse me for a second, please? Hurry back. I'll miss you. What are you doing here? Put it this way, I'm not here looking for a Princess Leia Barbie. I've come to bust you out of the clear silk convention. Thanks for the search and rescue, Dee, but I can't. Oh my god, you've become one of them. You're a pod person with a really ugly hat. Come on, let's bust out of here. Dee, you have no idea how much I want to, but no buts. Here's the deal. I'll page you. I'll say that a close family member just passed away. You decide which one, but if it were up to me, I'd pick Nana. I'm not Nana. Well, she's got to go sometime. Look, thanks, but no. This nightmare can't last forever. I just don't want to hurt poor Marshall's feelings. You know, Julia Roberts wasn't a feeling hurter either. Then one day, she woke up as Mrs. Lyle Lovett. Danger, danger, share Horowitz. Okay, okay, bust me up. Just say it. Oh, Never mind. Looks like my little slice of hell is over. We won! Did you see we won? Yay! <laughs> I finally beat Chatsworth. <laughs> I am Sorcerer Supreme. Great. Race you to the parking lot? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, direct from TV's Batman, the boy wonder, Bert Ward. <laughs> Keep smiling and back away slowly. Oh, yeah. All right, where's that lugubrious liturgy you want me to read? <laughs> Holy tedious texts. The hand of fate has chosen a king and queen to reign over Omnicon 5. They'll also reign over the party of the millennium. The Unicorn Ball to be held here tomorrow. Will you be his queen? Cher, I know our deal was only for one night, so if you don't want to go, I'll understand. Great vacillating vixens, make a decision. I got a boat show to go to at 11. Yes? <laughs> Obsessive seed is now a sprouting chia pet, growing by the second. You've got to nip it, nip it in the bud, and nip it now. I Cher. tried, Dee. My mind was screaming nip, but my head was nodding yes. You know, Cher, there is such a thing as being too nice, and that thing is you. I know, but you know, if there were just someone else he could transfer his drool to, one of his own species. You know, there was a girl at the convention who seemed to have the hots for Marshall. Just give me the geek's name. Mm. Yes. Why are we in a meat locker? The fixer likes to keep a low profile. My hovercraft is full of eels. There we hunt the walrus and seals. Amber, it's been so long <laughs> to come in. I know you gentlemen, don't I? Oh, yes, you're the Diablo brothers. I sold you a vat of lime to help decompose your talkative problem. Oh, 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 that wasn't us. Actually, Mr. Wilcox, I was just hoping you could do an idea job for us. Absolutely. I assume you want the premium package. <laughs> of course. All right, let's start by dipping your fingers in there. Why do we have to wash our hands? You don't. That's acid to remove your fingerprints. Oh, don't worry. It doesn't hurt much. It's certainly not as excruciating as the retina-altering procedure. Okay, I want Amber, to Amber. Oh, uh, okay. Mr. Wilcox, we just need fake IDs to get us into Club Twisteroo. Fake IDs? You insult me? I'm an artist. I've toppled governments. I've outsmarted smart bombs. I've won Marissa Tomei an Oscar. We've got 50 bucks cash. Fine. But I don't validate. Shares log. Star date? Hardly. Bad date? Definitely. 
Dion and I have successfully morphed test subject every day Edna into a cyber hottie. On my signal, Edna will beam Marshall towards her heavenly body. Captain Cher, Audi. I could be vaporized by a space-time anomaly right now and I'd die with a smile on my charred smoking face. Neat. Attack, sweetness. I get them all the time, too. Slight twitch, it's nothing. Oh. <laughs> hey, God. Is that Edna? She's certainly blooming into some serious booty. Not only is she gorgeous, but unlike me, she's well versed in the arcane language and customs of your fascinating world. Hmm. Um, would you excuse me for a minute? A minute to you, an eternity to me. What's going on? You were supposed to come over and get him. Thanks, but no thanks. For years I waited for the ingrate to notice me. Now, thanks to you, everyone is. Nah, I see no reason to settle for Marshall. I'm thirsty. Wanna dance? Uh, actually, I'm in the mood for a frozen mochaccino. Ted, you may fetch that for me. And for dancing... Chadsworth, I think. A choice you shan't regret. Let us boogie. Holy Dr. Frankenstein, I've made over a monster. Cher, I just want to thank you for making this the most perfect night of my life. Marshall. No, it is. The runner-up was the night I walked retainers with my cousin at her bat mitzvah. <laughs> and although it's as improbable as the blending of a heterogeneous mixture, I hope that you two are feeling that this might be the beginning of something special. Oh no, it's nipping time, isn't it? Oh, I hate this. May I kiss you? Okay, that made it easier. I'm sorry if you've gotten mixed signals, but we're nothing more than friends and we never will be. Never? Sorry. Oh, the barometer must be falling. <sighs> Wasn't it your other arm? Oh, right. Marshall, you're a great guy. It's just wrong for me to keep giving you false hopes. Well, can't blame a guy for trying. I guess deep down I kind of suspected it story of my life. No one for Marshall. Hey, you're wrong. What about Edna? She adores you. Well, to be honest, she is starting to appeal to my primal urges. Go for it. No, I couldn't stomach another brutal rebuff. That doesn't sound like the Marshall I know. Yesterday, I saw you take on an army of elfish magic. Whatever. Nothing could stop you. Well, I was rather invincible, wasn't I? Taketh yon what is rightfully yours, O oh, Sorcerer Supreme. Okay, yes. I'll do it. And share? Thanks. It just goes to show that no matter what planet you're on, nipping, while not always easy, is usually your best bet. And furthermore, the... Hey baby, what's a carbon-based life form like you doing in a dump like this? Leaving? Cher, it's me. I thought I'd better come in undercover this time. Ugh, Elok's hair. So, mission accomplished? D, I totally nipped. Congratulations, now let's get out of here warp speed. Great avalanche and asteroids! You know, I seem to have injured my leg while saving you from that perilous prop. Oh, would you mind applying some bomb to my... Look, I read your book. Back off. <gasps> nice nippage. <laughs> Back 
Welcome to the promised land, boys. As always, Amber delivers. Come on, let's go! <laughs> Baby, I see you inside. Ah. <laughs> Don't come a knocking if shots are right. That's why you pick them. Check them out. Check them out. Oh, check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Fantastic, sweetie. Uh, if I didn't know any better, I'd swear you were a biological female. I got that stuff. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hey. I think there's something you should know. What's that? I am the only real woman here. Uh, uh Amber, you know the deal. We come together, we leave separately. Harsh but true. I'm going about the business. Go on, go on. Like you end up working in a place like this. Interesting how you assume I'm a guy. 